so I actually didn't start golfing until I was 15. Uh, picked it up kind of as a three sport. Um, my brother played in high school, my dad also played in high school. Never golfed before that, so I kind of just picked it up. And I struggled a bit in the beginning because I had a softball swing and I was lefty in hockey. So I kind of had to figure out the mechanics of how to swing on a lower plane. Um, and our team, DC Everest, just got a girls golf team. So I joined and I was very bad, <laughs> very bad. But I obviously made a lot of improvements and I wanted to continue golf in college. I chose golf because it's a very individual sport and it's a lifelong game. Um, I've worked at courses where I know people in their 90s still playing, um, so I knew I'd be able to play the sport, you know, forever. <laughs> um, and ultimately, I picked golf because I knew that it was where I could excel. Um, hockey and softball, I do miss the team aspect of it, but I knew golf was kind of, I still was growing as a player, um, so I really just wanted to choose that sport to continue. My dad played golf in high school. He played uh, for a school in Wausau. He was very good at golf. My grandpa also played, um, and my brother was very good in high school. He could have went on, but both of those, my dad and brother, are pretty big role models for me for golf. Um, they both are very good, and I've had a lot of competition, obviously, through the family. Um, we all play in tournaments together, so that's one of the coolest things. That's also why I wanted to continue golf, because I'll be able to keep you know, doing that and having my family with me as I compete um, throughout like, all, all my career, pretty much. Because it's a lot closer. Um, I originally was thinking I want to get out of Wisconsin, go south where it's warm, but I fell in love with Stevens Point. Um, it's a smaller school, but it's big enough where um, I'm not at like a two-year school back in Wausau. My mom's an alumni, my brother, my aunt. Um, it really just kind of felt like home, <laughs> as cheesy as that is, but I'm very glad I'm part of the Pointers family, and I just love the atmosphere that athletics has, like one point, like we all are kind of one team, pretty much. I've learned a lot from my injury. I tore my ACL meniscus when I was 15, so I had surgery, and it was hard to come back. Um, I really had to step back and rethink like athletics isn't everything. Obviously, you have to work on like school. Um, and personally, it really was a big uh, roadblock for me. And then re-tearing it, I've had a lot more issues. Um, this past surgery in August, they couldn't repair the ACL because of the previous surgery. So a lot of things happening. So I have my last, hopefully my last surgery in December. And then I can focus on coming back stronger and better for the spring season. Coach Gilbert brings a lot of energy to the table. Um, she brings a lot of experience working with female athletes, especially. Our past coaches, they were great in their own ways, but they didn't really know how to bring all of us together as athletes and as female individuals. Um, I really enjoy working with Coach Gilbert. Um, she's awesome, and we have a great assistant coach, um, Katie Kruiser, who is played at uh, Illinois State. I think with both of them, it's really cool having the female aspect, but also they are more like well, like mothering kind of. So, you know, if someone's down, they'll, they'll come over, or as opposed to like a male coach, you know, we kind of just be like, let's go, keep it up. Um, but I'm really excited to have her as our coach this year. Would to be, just play your own game um, through every sport. Like as a future coach, I want to coach hockey. So I can kind of bring what I've learned from golf. like. You focus on yourself, but you also need to integrate that into a team as a whole. Um, I really also stress the emphasis of creating a cohesive unit as a team. Everyone has their own individual strengths, weaknesses, um, but you all need to come together at the end of the day and work together you know, towards a goal of a championship or you know, shooting the lowest round for golf, something like that. Pre-round, I try to not be superstitious, but I like to hit every one of my clubs on the range. I have to at least get one solid crisp shot. Um, I like to listen to, head listen to music in my headphones. And then I have something with the left side. I always have to wear my glove on my left hand, um, my ball marker on the top of my left side of my hat. Um, and I'm crazy about cleaning everything between the ball or my clubs. I have a special like scraper to clean the grooves. I'm really um, like OCD about that. If my club has 
any bit of dirt on it, I, it needs to be clean. <laughs> I talk a lot, <laughs> I'm pretty energetic. I'm always dancing, I always trying to hype everyone up in the weight room or on the course. Um, even though golf's very individual, I do like to, if we're passing each other on the course during a meet, I like to like wave or give a thumbs up. You know, I can kind of connect with my teammates. Um, yeah, I'm probably more of the outgoing one. And always, if we have to do something, like last night during a meeting, we had to do a video to send um, to the chancellor and everyone's like, all right, you're speaking. So I kind of take that that outgoing role on the team. It's between, I played in Florida, Lake Buena Vista. It's um, in Disney, it's very cool. It's different to play with palm trees and alligators as opposed to, you know, like last time we played it was snowing. Um, and then in Wisconsin, I'd say Thornberry Creek. Um, they had LPGA, um, like a tour that played there. So it was really awesome to play a course where professional women play. Quite intimidating, but it was a really awesome experience. Definitely Augusta, where they play the Masters. It just is beautiful. Seeing it on TV every year of my life so far, um, that would be a dream to play there because all the greats have played there and it's just an amazing course. About four years ago, I overnight just chose to go vegan. I did a lot of research about how it helps your skin and kind of helps your body. So at first it was pretty, it was a personal health um, reason, but then I kind of grew more as a person figuring out um, its impact and like culture on the environment. So I kind of was motivated by that. And then also I kind of got into more um, animal rights. So I kind of focused more on, you know, treating everything um, like having an outlook on the world of like seeing animals as kind of like individuals. Um, growing up hunting and fishing, I was taught, you know, you want to kill everything. So now I've kind of taken back and I really enjoy being vegan. Um, I've seen a lot of health changes in my own body and one of my roommates actually went vegan too. So it's kind of awesome to have someone else in my house that eats the same way, eats a lot healthier. It's really cool.